Dr. Rudd and I have been working together since uh, January of 1982. When we first started, we worked out of Dr. Rudd's garage. We said, well, why don't we build our own hospital? And we were young, and we were very naive, and we purchased the land. The summer of 1985, we broke ground and moved into our hospital February of 86. We currently have 18 buildings on the 24 acres. Our vision initially was to be the Mayo Clinic. We have the best equine specialists in the United States. We now have a presence in Saratoga. We take care of thoroughbred breeding farms, thoroughbred racehorses, actually all horses in that area. It's grown far more than we ever dreamed. We do more thoroughbred surgery than anybody in the world, and we can handle those injuries because they're commonplace for our practice. Edward Will Equine Hospital, we do thousands of procedures per year. Many of them, or I would say most of them, orthopedic procedures, and probably over 40,000 procedures in the last 10 years. When you come to Rudin Riddle, a complete surgical team meets the horse. We don't have to call in more people, and that makes a big difference in survival and how well the horse does post-op. This horse has an entrapped epiglottis, so the tissue underneath the epiglottis has entrapped it. It can't breathe as well. So what we're going to do is go in and we'll cut that tissue that's entrapping the epiglottis. Arthroscopic procedures are the state of the art in joint management in horses. And we're going to place the scope in the medial femoral tibial joint, which is the inside part of the stifle. And this is all damaged cartilage, and it's been detached, and it's fibrillated, meaning it's torn. It should be nice and smooth like this area. Now I do think we can clean it up and with a proper amount of time allow him to come back to be athletic and be comfortable and happy. We do get some complex cases. Many of them are the difficulty level that they would only come to a clinic such as ours. She has what are called condylar fractures. It's a small crack in the bottom of the cannon bone and it originates from a stress fracture. We do between 35 and 40 of these a year. This was the pre-op injury. You can see the fracture line here. In this view, we've squeezed this bone using two screws back to its parent bone. We do more fetlock arthrodesis than anybody in the world. We do more bone plating in general than anybody in the world. We try to be involved whenever we're asked with the industry organizations themselves. We provide information on clinical research results and surgical techniques that are new or innovative. Tendon and ligament injuries are the primary reasons why we use stem cell therapy in horses. There are more and more cases that we're now using them on. Uh, laminitis is one. Certain cases of degenerative joint disease or osteoarthritis seems to be particularly helpful for some of those horses that have arthritic changes in their stifle. So we have to harvest bone marrow. So you can harvest that from their sternum between their front legs. It's because we have our own lab is we culture and expand them and then they get a certain number of doses and a certain number of stem cells. And then whatever we don't use, we, we freeze. We do ship our stem cells all over the country. We have referring veterinarians in Florida, Arizona, Georgia. And you're taking this 26 million stem cells and we've diluted it with some saline right before we've injected it so it goes over a larger region. So that's his first treatment. And then we'll follow this up with two additional treatments. In our neonatal intensive care unit at Riddle Equine Hospital, we see foals that are sick. They may be born on the farm and have some type of problem, unable to nurse, to stand, or they may be recumbent and down. Primarily the breeds that we will see are thoroughbreds, the other breeds, standard breds, saddle breds, Arabians, Frisians, and quarter horses, um, and occasionally we'll get maybe a little um, donkey or mule. We have lots of technology at our hands. Intravenous antibiotics to treat bacterial infections. We also can do respiratory therapy, whether it just be oxygen therapy, or maybe a foal needs to go on a ventilator. We have intravenous nutrition that we can feed the foal in case it's unable to nurse, and then we have round-the-clock nursing care. Just learning. There you go. We work as one big team so it's nice to be able to have those specialists right on staff here so that we can work with them. Neurology is looking at the horse's brain, brain stem, peripheral and cranial nerves as well as problems of the spinal cord. Probably the most important thing is the examination. So we try to determine two things right away. Number one, does the horse have neurologic disease? And if it does have, where is it located? 
You might even do a myelogram where we put contrast around the spinal cord to look at that. And we have a special table that makes that job even easier. This horse has on myelogram pinching of the spinal cord between the sixth and seventh cervical vertebrae. What I do is being picked up by all of the young veterinarians right behind me. We have the ability to continue the same high quality service. We basically do all breeds. Any type of horse we work on. Most cases are usually a chronic reoccurring problem that they just can't get a handle on. We're always trying new shoes, new synthetic materials, making our own thermoplastic custom fit braces. We use high speed video to watch horses travel, whether it's on the track or in the ring. So we're just adjusting the shape, want it perfect. It's gotta fit just, just right. Some of us go to Florida for the winter circuit and shoot the show horses. We also go to Tennessee, Ohio, New York, California. I also travel international quite a bit. One of our podiatrists got asked to go to Disney World and evaluate some horse there with a chronic hoof problem as well. well. We have a lot of experts in the field, a lot of older practitioners that started the clinic. I consult with them very often. I learn from them a lot. As you can see, we have all that new growth now. Actually, the foot is starting to look more normal. The younger clinicians also bring a lot to the table. We have some new ideas, fresh ideas, and we share knowledge back and forth. We're lucky to have wireless digital radiography, and we were the first equine clinic in the country to actually have this type of technology. We can see some inflammation in the proximal sesamoid bone in this particular horse, and the image is just much crisper and more clear than with previous types of technology. Bone scan, also known as nuclear scintigraphy, is a tool that we use to identify areas of bony abnormality. In the tibias, we see these abnormal areas here and here, and those represent stress fractures. Ultrasonography is really fantastic for detecting a lot of soft tissue problems. It's excellent at giving us information about the structure and form of the tendon. This is the superficial digital flexor tendon right there, and then this interior area is the area where the fibers are torn. If we look longitudinally, we can see the area of damage right there. MRI is actually the gold standard when it comes to equine diagnostic imaging, especially a high field magnet like the one that we have here. Once we've isolated the lameness to a specific area, we can use the MRI to look at both bone and soft tissue injuries in very, very high detail. This is a normal fetlock and you can see the nice white rim of cartilage going all the way around. This cartilage is very abnormal. There's actually a total loss of cartilage right here in the back of the joint. The overground endoscopy equipment can be used in all breeds. There are uh, numerous upper air airway abnormalities that only occur during exercise. They cannot be diagnosed in any other fashion. By putting that horse in exercise or under work and examining their airway, then that allows us to make an appropriate diagnosis. We have the cutting edge technology that's available today, as well as the top clinicians to evaluate the horse. Dr. Michelle LeBlanc was one of our theriogenologists. She was recognized throughout the world as being the very best at what she did. We we're very pleased that we were able to name our reproduction center after her. In our ambulatory department now, we do have board certified theriogenologists. They are able to offer the latest and advanced reproductive techniques, one of which is embryo transfer. Many non thoroughbred breeds are able to do embryo transfer now. It's a, a great service. There are some mares that for whatever reason are just unable to carry their foal, their health is not good enough, and we can flush embryos from those mares and put it in a recipient mare and let that recipient mare carry the foal for her. In non-thoroughbred breeds we do semen freezing. We can freeze semen and it's essentially good indefinitely. There's nothing more exciting to me than identifying a pregnancy in a mare that was difficult. We've got a colt. This is the foal's head here. And that white line and that white line are jaws. Here you can see the foal's ribs. You see the heart beating right there. After all these years, it's still a thrill for me. We have veterinarians now that go to the farms that have the expert knowledge and ability to take care of foals. All right, good baby. We have veterinarians that will endoscope yearlings at the sales and at the farm. 
The upper airway is extremely important to the performance athlete. Horses are prone to abnormalities or diseases of their upper airway that prevent them from performing to their maximum. Our veterinarians can identify the problem and determine whether it can be corrected or not and advise the seller and the buyer on whether this is a good individual to purchase. Trying to work with the client to bring their horse to the sales in the peak of condition and present an individual that is going to be able to compete very well for the buyer. The great thing about our sport horse program is that it, we take a whole horse approach. Everything falls under what is best for that athlete to get them to their peak performance. We do all breeds, all disciplines. Root and Riddle Sport Horse Vets are represented in all of the top level competing events in South Florida, Kentucky, and in New York. So much of what we do with sports medicine is imaging and identifying lesions and determining causes of lameness. The imaging is extremely important. I think a huge advantage of our sport horse vets is that they're riders and they compete. They have an understanding of what it takes for that horse to get to a certain level. Every horse is important to us, whether it's the Pony Club horse or the Olympic Grand Prix show jumper. For many years, horse owners had to rely on lay dentists. Now, Rudin Riddle has veterinarians that provide dental care that is honestly far superior to what a layman can do. And the advances in equine dentistry continue to improve. And dentistry is so important in the geriatrics and the older horses. We take geriatric medicine very serious here at Root and Riddle. Um, it's been a very large emphasis of our practice. Now we have a geriatric program at our hospital with recommendations on how you care for your horse as it ages, um, which is becoming more and more important as we have an older aging population. Rood and Riddle Veterinary Pharmacy is a full-service pharmacy. We offer proprietary prescription drugs, over-the-counter medications. We also compound our own medications for special needs. Rood and Riddle Veterinary Pharmacy is overseen by a third-party accreditation group that comes in, looks at our processes, they evaluate our facility to make sure that the medications that we're producing are safe and effective. We have other veterinarians that use our facility, and in fact, that's what we wanted to become, was, was not just a resource for our hospital, but a resource for veterinarians all across the country. We are a full-service pharmacy for all animals that range from zoo animals, cats and dogs, up to your Kentucky Derby winners. Our philosophy has always been, if we take care of the horse, the horse will take care of us. We're here for all horses. Our goal is to do what's best for the horse, period. And we have lots of specialists which work together as a team. Our egos are not important. Then we consult with each other, help each other out where needed. We have the cutting edge technology that's available today. Every horse is so important to us. Whatever we do, we do what's best for the horse. The expertise resides here. It's exciting to see what we've learned in the past 30 years. And it's very exciting to think about where it's going to go in the next 30 years.